Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how to choose the right makeup artist. I feel like this is, you know, sometimes a silly question, but I feel like some people fail at it. And the reason why I say that is one, I'm a makeup artist and I have over seven years experience and I have experienced these things. And what I mean by that is when a person comes in for a trial, because I mostly do bridal, and what they're looking for is not in my portfolio at all, it's not my style, and you look at them and say, why in the hell did you hire me? And it happens. All right, so to avoid this, my number one tip for choosing the right makeup artist is one, have the same style. It is so, so important that you go through their website, their portfolio, and their Instagram. First, see if they're being active because if they're not posting new things, are they really working? Um, and it just allows you to see things that they have created on other people. So for example, are you the type of person who likes super, um, dramatic transformations like the whole cream contour this that obviously this is going to be heavier makeup but make sure that you see great before and afters or if you're more on the natural side go onto their page and see does the skin look healthy glowing dewy um, does the makeup look soft do they have anything like that in their portfolio tip number two is talk to the person and what I mean by this is before you have a trial for example you can talk to the person on the phone or if you're having a trial in general it's not necessary because you will meet them in person but do see if your personalities get along um, if the person's rude if the person's nice I mean I have experienced things where I've been on a job at a wedding and the photographer or videographer is like super rude even to me and it's like just why like why are you in the industry um, so just make sure that you get along with a person you guys have good vibes um, from each other and then your wedding day is going to be awesome my third tip is to look at your makeup artist kit you may not be able to do this beforehand if you don't have a trial but during a trial are the brushes clean I feel like that's a number one thing are the brushes clean do you want dirty brushes on your face probably not are they using mascara wands are they scraping out things out of um, their kit if it's like lipstick that's depotted um, because it's just a sanitary technique that they should be doing if not, then I would probably question your makeup artist because I feel like sanitation is super important. Um, you can definitely, I mean, if for example a person had a cold sore and they used a lip brush and didn't clean their lip brush, you can technically get a cold sore. Um, same thing for a hairstylist. Imagine a person had lice and they didn't clean their brushes. Do you want lice? Nope. I didn't think so. My fourth tip is be honest. And what I mean by this is, as a makeup artist, we are not inside of your head. So be comfortable with the person. Be able to tell them what you are thinking and feeling about how you are looking. And just communicate. If you don't communicate, then nothing's going to get fixed. It's not offensive in any way unless, I guess, you say it like, in a really bad way but for example imagine you were wearing this look and you said hey I think the shadow is a little bit too much and can we make the liner a little bit uh, less and I really think this lip color is too bright for me that's an example that would be totally fine I'm sure the makeup artist even me I would be like yeah let's totally change it like those are small things that you can adjust and it's totally fine and then my fifth tip is look at their work. And I know I said this before, but what I mean by this is try to pick something from their portfolio and their past work of what you like. So it's going to be easy to re recreate. You know they have created this look before, as well as it's your style and you love it, so you know it's gonna go well. And when choosing a picture as well, 
make sure that, for example, if you have green eyes or blue eyes, it's going to be easier if you pick a person with blue eyes or green eyes if you were trying to choose a look with some color and wanted to know what it looked like. Uh, choose somebody who also has the same type of features as you. Like, if you have a very hooded eye and you're looking at a girl with a very almond shaped eye that has this beautiful winged liner, it's not going to work for you. For hooded eyes, it's very difficult to do a winged liner. Sometimes you can't do one at all. So look at the eye shapes. Are the eyes more deep set? Are they more close set, wide set? Look at all those things as well. And even the face shape. So the more you look like the person, the more you're going to be satisfied as well afterwards because your expectations versus reality is going to be closer together. So I hope these five tips helped you guys out. Um, I hope that you guys are able to choose the right makeup artist for your day, whether it's your wedding day, a photo shoot, a bridal shower, a party, whatever it may be. I hope that it works out for you guys. And if any of you guys are in the New York area and are interested in getting your makeup or hair done by me, I will put down some information down below so you guys can check it out. Um, or you can just shoot me a DM if you guys have any questions as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!